Hey guys, it's Mark and Laurie Gable, and we're Gables on the Go. Hey y'all. Hey, for those of you that are new to our channel, in case you don't know us, uh, Laurie and I were school teachers from Georgia. We moved to the Florida Keys four years ago. Now we're full-time real estate agents and, and still a school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> We've yeah. got a lot to do down here. we got a lot. We're, we're busy. busy. <laughs> we're busy, busy. But today, we're not busy. We're going to take you with us. We're going over to our friends Drew and Christy's house just outside of Marathon here in the Florida Keys. And we're going to get on the itty bitty boat. The itty bitty baby boat. Itty bitty boat. It's so cute. You're They've got one it. of the new, uh, they got one of the new Sea uh, Doo mini pontoon boats. It's like a pontoon boat that's really a jet ski. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Laurie and I have not gotten to ride on it officially yet so we're going over there we're going to take a day out to the sandbar mm -hmm. have Valhalla some fun or marathon sandbar yep as people call it have some fun out there and uh, take you guys with us let you see the sights see the water hopefully it's a pretty day out on the water today and we're going to share it with you so no real estate today just, just come along fun. with us and hang out and have a good time sandbar sunday yeah we'll see you on the water let's go all right so we're here at drew and christie's here is Drew. Hello. Christy. The Drew man. <laughs> Christy's still getting ready. She'll be down in a minute. But here is the itty bitty boat. And we wanted to show you before we put it in the water. Yeah. Is it adorable or what? I mean, I feel like I could almost pick it up myself. Yeah, look out. Look at, <laughs> in reference to the Jeep, how big it is. Yeah. He's pulling it with his Jeep. Easy peasy And to that's pull it cool in. that you can pull it with, you don't have to have a big truck to pull it with. Yeah. So yeah. you can maneuver like it this. around easily. It's got a nice trailer. And this is only a few months old, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Uh, this boat was purchased exactly for this Jeep, so we could pull it around. Yeah. Uh, Jeeps do not have a lot of pulling power, mm -hmm. but uh, this was one boat that we could fit the family on and just go out and have some fun on the sandbar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's cool. So it's a jet boat. It so is it's just like boat. a giant jet ski, really. It is. It's 170 horsepower. So it will even pull skier. It's got a ski hook on the back, or you can yeah, pull it inner cool. tube. Um, it's the high, fastest engine for this size boat. The bigger the boats get, they get more powerful engines. Yeah, they make them up to like, what, 20 feet? 270 20, horsepower, 22 yeah. feet. 22 feet, yeah. Right. Cool little rig. Well, let's get this thing on the water. Check out what she can do. It's called the Sea Dew Switch, right? Sea Dew Switch. Sea Dew Switch, yeah. Let's get her launched. Get her All out right. there. Let's do it. Oh, it's quite nice. Drew doesn't have very far to go to go to the his boat launch so his neighbor who lives over here oceanside right through that gate right there right out drew's driveway we just take the jeep right across there he's got a launch ramp over there by those palm trees put the boat in the water leave the jeep right there bang right in the gulf of mexico how about that gonna open the gates this is such a beautiful view right here too open the gates to paradise man right. Woo! and there's christy Ready to go on the boat ride. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Here it comes with the itty bitty boat. This is pretty cool. This is a home where the homeowners have a boat ramp in their yard. So we're putting in. You haven't even touched water yet. Until it hits the water, yeah. It's pretty shallow right here. You can see the dockage needs to be out away from the actual seawall because of the depth up. of the water here. I'll watch it here. In a beautiful home with a beautiful I pool. Usually take the back tires of the Jeep to the water. Yeah, keep going then. You're not in the water yet. All right, I think you're good there. Good right here? Yeah, it I think comes so, off, Drew. yeah. All right. Usually he puts the top up. He forgot to put the top up. Yeah, put the top up, too. Drew. Now he's got to be nice about <laughs> Maybe easier done before mm -hmm. you put it in? Yeah, he's usually top it up so he can go right under. He put the hat Oh, okay. Okay, here we go on I'm the boat wide. With the captain. <laughs> Woo! So, Ready to go? <laughs> Here we're taking off. We're taking off. So a cool little feature on this boat 
is it will spin in a 360 pattern in its own space. So if you're in a tight spot, you can just just whip this little puppy around. That's cool. Whip it Show. around. Um, whip it. Doing donuts. These engines have a 10 hour break in time. Until <laughs> then, they only run at like 60 percent power. 35. They go to 35. Yeah, they go up to like 35 miles an hour. I we're on the cusp of that, so. You never know, this might be the run, and all of a sudden it just takes off. Because then it off. goes up to 45 once mm -hmm. you get your 10 hour mark. It has okay. mode features for sport mode, if you're pulling things, uh, eco mode. There's different modes you can put the motor in. That's cool. I have not done any of those yet because I'm just a sandbar kind of guy. We're still learning. Is there a sandbar mode? There is a sandbar mode. <laughs> it's called neutral. <laughs> There's a, a cool feature on this, uh, like wave runners and sea dews, sea we can get chunked up in the in the motor since it's jet for power well this has an automatic disbursement system that will you just it just Blow reverses and blows it all back out on. and you gotta keep your balance too because if I go to this side with everybody else we yeah. lean in and we'll put you in my lap <laughs> on this side is better I'm gonna come sit down now it's about balance <laughs> that's it got hot so this has a trim set up on it. We used to put the cooler right there, but we got everybody I'll lower the trim here. to balance the boat when I take it off. And as we get up on plane, if we get above way, Woo. right now we got a little extra weight. You want me to go up front? That's what we got some weight up there, baby. Ah, now we're on play. I guess this is a manual pull-in, not a pitchless hunt. Yeah. Man, somebody sounds <laughs> spoiled or what? Somebody could be a little spoiled. You mean we have to pull this in? <laughs> you mean you hand pull it? This? This so okay. Willis? I remember the days we had look, to do look, that. Guys, look, is that a mirror oh, right? Stingray. 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 You're just complaining about not seeing steam race. Well, there you go. Uh, Jump so in on top of it. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Don't do it. So all we got to do There's is go. There he's swimming around. Oh, it's getting close. Well, that one's yeah, going the other way. Yeah. How's that water? The water's much better. Is it? Oh, nice yes. and cool and not This hot. is how we like our sandbar water. Yeah. a pretty cool boat isn't it so what we learned today is that it's a very windy day and I can't keep my hat on right now and I can barely stand on the boat we're on the sandbar still and the waves are coming in pretty good it may not look rough but it's been bouncing the boat around pretty good yeah don't run over the rope 
You better move. Never run over the rope. <laughs> Captain, what's the game plan for heading home? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I was on the spotlight. Hey, Captain, we're what's gonna, the game plan for heading home? We're gonna run along shoreline. That way we can, uh, if we're not gonna get beat up by the waves, we can hit some rocks. <laughs> what is that out there? Something just, Good what is plan. that floating? Ooh, what is that, a dolphin? No, uh, it's too dark. It's, it's too big though, or long. Here, I'll just start going that way. It's huge. I don't know what yeah, it is. There. It is rough. So now we're headed back with the waves rolling on top of them and it's a lot smoother. Very enjoyable. I mean, even the little waves we're bumping on are not hard. It is easy to control though, I have to bend on this boat. It All is. Right. I mean, it's amazing. I know, I feel like I could drive it even. Christy yeah, can drive it. Right That's impressive. He hasn't let me try to drive it, or like park it or anything. So remember baby, <laughs> just, park, just uh, back up straight up. Okay. Um. So Mark and Drew just traded places. Mark's taking the itty bitty boat out for a little mini sea trial. So cute when it turns around it just looks like a little jet ski or something yeah. <laughs> but two people on it it actually will uh, carry up to five people Ooh, looks like fun right it's kind of better than a jet ski because you can take you know four of your best friends with you bringing the itty bitty boat in on the trailer Christy's got the Jeep back in here. Good thing they got a good Jeep there. A little steep up no, ramp. Whoop, got a little angle going Back here. I don't think you can. I told you it's crooked. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and the itty bitty, bitty boat is out. No, no, you're fine. Look here, buddy. Hey, everybody has those boat trailer loading moments. Yeah. It is nothing new. Yeah. Believe me, if you haven't had a husband and wife boat trailer <laughs> uh, backing argument. incident, argument, it's like- Arms flying. Arms flying, people cussing, things being thrown. I was like, you yeah. don't, you haven't been boating long enough. I thought I did pretty good and I had to try to straighten up the trailer. You did a great job. Up, but I tried. You did a great job. I was all for it. Oh. I mean, the. I think it's mad when I gas it, but if I don't, it's so slippery with the algae, I have yeah. to gas it. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I agree. You can't be sliding around back there. No. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what you like about this boat the most. It is, for a novice boater, it's a very simple boat to use. It, it's, it's like a Jeep. Everything clicks apart. You can change the configuration of the deck by just popping the seats up and moving them to a different section. They snap right back down. It's a Lego. Seat. Easy to put in the uh, in the water. Easy to take back out, unless Mark's uh, captaining. <laughs> but uh, normally, if you're if you're wanting a first time boat, this is a, a strong recommended boat. It, it is nice. Cool, cool. So, what are your dislikes? Um. If I didn't have the Jeep, I would probably get the 18-footer a little bit more. Okay. Um, if you're on a budget and you're trying to decide do you get the entertainment system or a bigger engine, get the bigger engine. Much power as you can. Bigger's uh, always better. Always get bigger if you can. More power. And yeah. it's smooth. Other than that, complained about bigger. Right. It's, uh, there's really nothing about this boat I don't like. Um, 
other than I wish the Jeep could have pulled a little bit bigger one, but for a family of two or four people going out, it's a blast. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a, there's all kinds of attachments you can get for it, trolling motors, all uh, ski platforms, swim platforms, all these additional things you can add on. Popping coolers. Uh, Popping coolers, pop snapping cooler. coolers in the snap back. Coolers. Wow. So it's your it, true Lego set. It is. Mm -hmm. it, it's like a Jeep. So that's um, awesome. Um, I would definitely recommend it for any novice boater. Uh, right, if you're just cool. wanting to go have fun, get on the sandbar, let the kids have fun. Mm -hmm. Pull them behind on this on the inner tube, absolutely. Now, right. don't go mahi fishing. Don't try to go 10 miles offshore because you will not, not be coming idea. back. <laughs> <laughs> you may not survive. You may not survive. We need to do a video on that. Mahi fishing on yep. the on the, on the uh, did we just say not to do that? Yeah, we just said not to do that. <laughs> well, that's what makes it fun. <laughs> Why would anybody watch something they know they don't want to do? Right. Let's, let's yeah. watch something that there's no possible way, and I want to watch these idiots go out and do that on that boat. Now, that's fun. You'll be on fun. YouTube. Yeah, you'll be on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, like riding a uh, jet ski to the Bahamas. Yeah, let's done. don't do that either. I know, but we're too old for that shit. Oh, um, actually, Drew, that's a great idea. It's been uh, it's a good boat for snorkeling. Uh, mm -hmm. I would I would definitely take it out to Coffin's Patch, which is about two miles offshore on a clear day. I'm looking at the ocean right now. It's flat. I don't know why it's flat now versus <laughs> yeah. You know. It's always flat when you get home. You're exactly. out there fighting it like hell, and then you get back home. It's like oh great, now it's flat. So yeah. other than that, uh, the built-in canopy is so it's easy so to use. Pop up and pop around. down. Mm -hmm. All the attachments are so nice to use. Comes with a fantastic trailer with ladders to get up and you know down from it. Um, really, I, I have a hard time finding a negative thing about it so far. Oh, cool. So I would right. uh, like I said, I definitely recommend this for first-time mm -hmm. boaters. Okay. Which I basically am. Okay. So. Well, good advice. Thank you. You are welcome.